Hey, Celia Core family, it's Erin Stern, and I'm so excited to take you through a full day of eating. This morning, I went for a quick 20 to 30 minute easy walk before breakfast, and now we're getting ready for the first meal. <laughs> this is meal one right here. I actually cook all of my foods in advance, or most of them, and then I just heat them up. It saves a lot of time and it really keeps me on track. I'm actually prepping now so my calories are lower and it's really important that I stay 100% on point to get ready for stage. Even if you're not a professional physique athlete, I do recommend that you at least weigh your foods or track them in some way because we're often unaware of portion sizes just something to get in the habit of doing, and that way when you wanna make changes to your physique, it's easy to do. You can go back and look at food logs and adjust accordingly. So this is just a basmati or jasmine, I believe, and they've added bamboo extract to it. So it has extra antioxidants, it's actually a little bit better for you. Look at it, it's beautiful. And a fun fact about the white rice, if you cook it and, and cool it, then you actually have an increase in what's called resistant starch. So really good for gut health. And it can actually reduce the caloric amount in the rice. Toss this beautiful elk patty on top. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, it <laughs> takes a swan dive. I'm gonna pop this in here for a minute. Almost ready. I like to put a little of this stuff on there. Um, condiments are fine as long as they're low calorie and they're low sugar. This one's got some salt in it. I sweat a lot. I live in Florida. I'm not afraid of salt. Salt gives great flavor. So we're just going to zhuzh it up a little bit. And breakfast is ready. I usually eat breakfast an hour and a half to an hour before I train. This gives my body enough time to digest this good fuel and gives me good energy for the gym. And it also prevents me from feeling like I have a bowling ball in my stomach when I'm training. Breakfast, I love to stand. Um, I feel like it just gets me ready for the day. If I'm sitting, I typically will get a little sleepy um, and I haven't started work yet. So I'm just focused on eating my breakfast and the workout ahead. It's almost gym time and I'm gonna get my two current favorite supplements ready. This one is C4 Rip Sport. It's my pre-workout. I love this stuff because it's third-party certified it also has a little bit less caffeine. It's got your beta alanine, your citrulline malate. It's perfect pre-workout. This is the Extend Ripped BCAAs. Because I'm in a caloric deficit, I'm looking for just that extra bit of help in leaning down. This has CLA and it's got a pepper extract. So both can help to improve uh, metabolic rates. The CLA has been shown to actually help in reducing belly fat. This also helps me drink more water, which I am usually pretty bad at. So it's great to have both during workouts and throughout the day. It's been about an hour since I've had my first meal. I just drove to the gym. I'm here in the parking lot. Today is legs and glutes. So I'm gonna get ready to train. Hey, what's up, Good morning. I just got back home from the gym. I trained legs and glutes today, so I need something pretty quick digesting. Now, post-workout, the muscles are very sensitive to protein, so you can actually reduce your protein intake. So I do two Greek yogurts, and then I try to up my carbs just a little bit in hopes of recomping as I'm working towards the show and also to replenish those energy stores. So super easy, two things of Greek yogurt and a half a sleeve of rice cakes. 
A lot of times I get so hungry that I don't even use the spoon. I just use the rice cake as a spoon and eat like a caveman. <laughs> So this is meal two. I will typically have four meals throughout the day. Now in the off season, I'll also have four meals, but the meals are actually larger. So I'm working at a caloric deficit now as I'm getting ready for stage. So I finished meal two, of course, and for the next few hours, I'll be working on my next book and then my online training programs and then it'll be time for meal three. It's time for meal three and I usually do meal prep and I kind of do a rolling meal prep so as I run out of food I will make a batch of more food. So this meal is turkey and oats and i just cooked the turkey it is turkey breast which i like to think of as a blank slate others would like to call it cardboard <laughs> but if you're able to season it and not be afraid of spices you can make it taste pretty good so i've actually seasoned it with basil i've got some garlic here i have cayenne pepper some desert salt smoked paprika and this crazy peppercorn medley really important if you love cinnamon make sure you get the Ceylon cinnamon and not the regular cinnamon regular cinnamon is cassia it's not actually cinnamon and it can be harmful for your liver so look for the Ceylon Why is there so much joy in getting like a perfect 4.0? <laughs> I actually eat a lot of my meals in here in the office because I like to work and eat at the same time. And I'm working on my membership group. I make them weekly workouts, so I gotta keep the content going. So for my membership group, I have about 600 ladies that I work with and I create weekly workouts, monthly meal guides, and I do weekly live Q and A's for them. And it's called Fit University. And it's been pretty cool to start it from nothing and to have so many members right now. And the ladies are from all over the world. So it's really cool that they have a chance to connect with other people, make friends, and of course see progress. Every day we take Ari, AKA potato for a walk. It's a good way to get some extra steps in and he enjoys it. <laughs> See how excited he is. Let's go. <laughs> Here's your, you know what your poop reward? We give the kittens and cats treats. So every day we walk with these. We're making some friends. This is Notch. He's very snuggly. He likes this scratch right here. <laughs> I'm getting out everything for meal four. This meal is going to be a bit of a melange of things because I'm running a little bit low on my venison, so I'm going to finish that up. And then whatever protein is left, I'm going to use the elk burgers. I'm going to do a little bit of rice and then some of these guys, baby carrots, they're delicious. And maybe a little bit of cucumber too, depending on how hungry I am. This might seem kind of weird, but the venison has a little bit more fat in it. I'm trying to keep my fat intake just to essential fats as I'm leaning down. 
So I'm gonna put it in this paper towel, microwave it, and squeeze some of the extra fat out. This is a must have, jalapeno mustard. It's almost out. Do you know what this is? Chef's kiss, gourmet. It looks ridiculous. It looks, it looks <laughs> like if you let a toddler loose in a kitchen and you're like, make mommy dinner, this is what they would come up with. Like, who puts carrots on top of rice? Ha, 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 ha.